Welcome to today's class, dear students. Today we are going to learn roles and challenges of information systems. First, let's see information system activities. Information processing, otherwise known as data processing activities that occur in information system include the following. So the activities are input of data resources. Processing data into information. Output of information products. Storage of data sources. Control of system performance. That is input processing. That is, uh, we know that data are being collected first and the data are being converted into informations and the output of information products. Information you will get, right? So basically you will be having the data data are converted or processed into information and hence you will get the information products and then storage of data sources you can store for uh, next users for the following analysis or something for the following study control of system performance that's the last one so everything a control should be there so these are the information system activities that is the data are being collected first. Data are converted into informations and you will get the information products and then storage of data sources and control of the system performances. Because everything, a control should be there. Then only it will go in the right sense, uh, right way. Okay, so that is why control of system performance is important. Now let's see the role of information system. An information system is a set of components that work together to manage data processing and storage. Now in the last slide we have seen the activities performed by the information system. That is data we, we are collecting and then they are converted into informations and you will get the product, storage and control. That were the activities. So here the same thing is being said in this some other way. That is a set of components that work together to manage data processing and storage. The main aim is data processing and storage. Its role is to support the key aspects of running an organization. That is, it helps for the smooth running of an organization. And for that running of an organization, communication should be there. Record keeping should be there, decision making should be there, and data analysis are some MN. Okay, so these are the key aspects of running an organization. So it helps, information system helps an organization to go or to travel in a right way. Third point, Companies use this information to improve their business operations, make strategic decisions, and gain a competitive edge. It helps an organization to improve business operations, to make proper decisions, and to gain a competitive edge. Fundamental roles of information systems are that they support an organization's business process and operation, Decision making by employees and managers and strategies of competitive advantage. These are the important points. That is business processes and operations. It helps the proper process and operation of the business. Decision making by employees and managers. Information system helps to make decision, good decision. For if any problem will arise. Strategies for competitive advantage that is it help decision makers to gain a strategic advantage over competitors requires innovative use of information technology that is we know that day by day technology is going on improving and now we are facing a competitive world okay so to to maintain that that is to withstand that to be in a proper way you have to follow we are using or we are using information technologies that is what strategies for competitive advantage here a triangle is given support business process and operations support business decision making and strategies for competitive advantage information systems support business by helping in accounting 
finance operations management marketing and hr management contributes to employee productivity and morale operational efficiency and customer service and satisfaction provides a major source of information and support need needed to promote effective decision making by managers and business professionals works as an important ingredient in developing competitive products and services that gives an organization a strategic advantage in the global marketplace helps a lot in today's internet worked e business enterprise so these are the way how information system support business that is it helps for accounting finance operations management etc it helps to contribute that is betterment of employee productivity and morale operational efficiency etc provides a major source of information and support works as an ingredient in developing competitive products and helps a lot in today's internet worked e business enterprise here comes information systems resources people resources are there software resources are there hardware resources network resources and data resources these are the information systems resources we can write up for this that is people resources it is end users and is specialists they are the people okay it is from whom from which kind of people you can get the you can collect the data or any inquiries they are the end users and is specialists and software resources that is based on the program program and procedures hardware that is a physical components and the network resources community for communication media and network support resources should be there and data resources that is data and knowledge bases that is we know that is for everything data should be there so that is also a kind of resource next is managerial challenges of it that is the next topic from the name itself it is clear managerial challenges of it that is information technology is uh, going on developing day by day and naturally challenges will be there and hence manager is is considered as a, as one of the head of the organization so what are the challenges he has to face that is managerial challenges of it what he has to face what the manager has to face managerial challenges includes the need to think strategically and meet helpless demands that is demands are to be satisfied security threats there is many threats they the 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 person who is using sitting as a manager he has to face many security threats that is in it we know that cyber security that is the important term that is everywhere data can be um, can be taken or can be frauds will be there everywhere okay that is we have to detect the frauds and we have that is that kind of threat will be there keeping users mobile and secure that is mobility is an important strategy to increase pro productivity for users and improve their work satisfaction by providing more flexibility in the workplace that is a little bit flexible you have to be users bypassing the it department that is shadow it is a real problem of it departments unauthorized access to cloud services outside the organization by users makes your organization's networks more vulnerable and data breaches that is what users bypassing the it department that is other than outside outside the department shadow it will be there that's a real problem and the, that is the unauthorized access to cloud services outside the organizations by users makes your organization's network more vulnerable to data breaches that is users bypassing the it department new technologies are there just because something is new does not mean it's the best fit for your business there is also a risk finding the right employees that is another risk and managing cash flow money is a ruler of business however it assumes an especially significant part of the fast development undertaking so these are the 
managerial challenges of IT. So today we have covered role of information system and managerial challenges of IT. Hope it is clear for you. Thank you.